Well, this past week, the State Board of Education voted to take over the troubled Little Rock School District. And a variety of other educational policies are being viewed through a new microscope. The newly formed Forward Arkansas Coalition is working with business, political and community leaders to provide a voice on those policies. KATV Scott Inman joins us with Dr. Sharice West Scannelbury of the Rockefeller Institute for a conversation. Scott? Roby, thank you and good morning everyone. Obviously the big education story in the news this week, the state takeover of the Little Rock School District, the state now controlling two of the three biggest school districts in the state. And we're going to talk broader education this morning on Talk Business and Politics. With us today is Sharice West Scannelberry, who is the president and CEO of the Winthrop Rockefeller Foundation, but you're also on the committee, the steering committee for a new, relatively new organization called Forward Arkansas. Thanks, first of all, for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Talk a little bit about what Forward Arkansas is. Forward Arkansas is a steering committee of educators, parents, stakeholders, stakeholders, uh, public policy makers, business leaders. Um, we have close to 30 steering committee members, and our charge is to develop a comprehensive P through 16 plan for education for the state of Arkansas. And you have already conducted some research that's been released uh, relatively recently as well called the State of Education Report. I, I have some of the, the findings here mm -hmm. and, and bef before we get into that, I know that we had a call in on Channel 7 too. You, yes. you're, you're really the thrust of this uh, organization, part of the thrust, is to get the community's input. We got call-ins, mm -hmm. uh, I believe we got about a hundred on the call-in, and yes. then you also want people uh, to participate online. Tell us about why you mm -hmm. find it so vital uh, for the community input. Absolutely. So again, our charge is to develop a P through 16 comprehensive plan for education for the state of Arkansas. We want to ensure that that plan is informed by good solid data, thus the State of Education in Arkansas report, and we want to make sure it's informed by all Arkansans. Whether you are an educator, a parent, a student, whether you're in college, whether you've been out of school a little while, uh, yeah. <laughs> we want this informed by Arkansans. We need and want all input, and the online survey is one such way in which we want to ensure that as many Arkansans as possible who want to talk with us um, or give us data, not just on what's going on or what their experiences are in the school system, but solutions. It's a very solutions-oriented questionnaire. So that's one way in which we're going to get, get data. Additionally, we plan to do listening tours throughout the state to have focus groups with middle school students, with high school students, with parents, um, with community groups, um, with Latinos, with uh, uh, African Americans, whites, with affluent, non-affluent, I mean, uh, 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 not, a, not, inf not fluent as English, but um, you know, low-income communities, affluent communities, just everyone, um, to ensure that we have all voices. We want this comprehensive plan to be Arkansas's plan, a plan that has input and data by Arkansans for Arkansans. So some of, the, some of the data that came out of this, I thought the thing that really stood out to me is we're doing pretty well in access. Mm -hmm. uh, Pre-K access, top 20 nationally, according to the findings of this report. And going to college, we're in the top 20. Mm -hmm. But then you go to the college graduation rate, and Correct. we're near the bottom. So we're getting them in. Mm -hmm. but we're not getting them through. What, what have you found so far with regards to that? Well, what the study really shows is that we are um, not preparing our students for careers and college, for success in them going on to whether it's, it's a career or whether it's um, a two-year degree or certification or whether it's a four-year degree or six-year degree, I guess, these days, yeah. um, that our, our students are not prepared. That's the main finding there. So our, our education system has to do far more than it's doing currently to ensure that all of our students are prepared for college and um, careers. I mentioned the headlines at the beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the state takeover of Little Rock School District. They also are in control of the Pulaski County School District. And one of the things that stood out was that you found the central part of the state has the largest disparity and concentration of academically uh, distressed schools. What else did the report find with regards to that in the central part of the state? Well, I also need to say, and I didn't say this earlier, was that this will be a comprehensive P through 16 plan for education, and we will have specific recommendations for academically di distressed schools throughout the state. All right, and before we run out of time, you did say that uh, you mentioned the online survey, that yes. you'd like to get people uh, to participate in that. How do they do that? They go to Forward Arkansas. Dot .org okay. and it's all one word forwardarkansas.org 
The uh, survey is available in English and in Spanish. Uh, so we want to encourage just everyone, everyone, if your six, if your six year old can read and fill out yeah. a survey, we want him or her to do that too. Wow. We don't want this informed just by adults. We want this informed by all our Kansans who are impacted in one way or another by education in our state. We'd love to have you back when you start going through the process of I guess just figuring out where to go next with all of the data because yes. you're going to get a big range, I'm sure, yes. with different experiences from different people That's correct. in the state. Sharice, thanks for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you so much for having me. Roby, back over to you.